This is from onionweather.com here. Today I've got another article summary for you and we are discussing how to install a personal or home weather station. Specifically, what to do, what to remember, but also what to avoid. Uh, as usual, I'm leaving a link to the full article in the description below. So if you don't get what you want from this video, you can always go and read the full article and on your own time and uh, get all the details. Uh, today we're hitting the road in and around the house. So I'll show you all the places uh, where you should or shouldn't place your home weather station. So without further ado, I think it's time to hit the road. Okay, the outside placement of your sensor array is called sighting. Two things you should take into consideration when you do sighting is first, the distance from other objects, the second being the height of your sensor array itself. So, what you should avoid is huge trees like this. Never place your sensor array beneath or close to a tree like this. For obvious reasons, you won't be able to get the direct thermometer meetings or wind meetings or even rain gorge meetings. Also, stay away from large water sources like fish ponds, swimming pools, etc. Also make sure you stay away from outdoor walls, tall buildings, anything that might interfere with the measurement of your home weather station, which also includes, coincidentally, grass. If you need to place your weather station on grass, make sure it's at least six feet above the ground. Okay, so then what location is best for your outdoor sensor array if you cram for space, you don't have a big yard or any yard whatsoever. Well, you can always do what I did, which is also one of your best options. You can go vertical. In my case, my whole sensor array I placed above my roof, around about six feet, just to make sure the top of the roof doesn't influence it in any way. And that's, I would say, 99% of the time, if you're cramming for space, that will always be one of your best options, if it's available. Okay, so now we've had a look at the outside. In and around the yard, uh, locations you should avoid at all costs, which include, like I said, trees, water sources, tall buildings, walls, and even locations close to the ground or beddings within your garden. Anything that will influence your sensor readings, especially temperature and humidity. And I've given you a suitable, suitable alternative as well, which you can make use of. Uh, we're moving indoors now. We're looking at rooms within your house that you should avoid. We're also looking at locations within a room that you should stay clear of. And I'm giving you there again a suitable alternative and what you can do to get accurate readings from your indoor weather station. And these are one of two rooms you should avoid at all costs. I think you know where we are. Yes, in the kitchen. So we've got stoves washing machines, dishwashers, and obviously faucets, as well as your fridge. All of those which can seriously interfere with all your measurements, including temperature as well as humidity. And obviously the second room you should avoid at all costs is your bathroom. Needless to say, the amount of humidity and temperature changes that occurs in a room like this will make it impossible for your weather station to make any kind of accurate measurement. Okay, so another location to avoid is a room directly facing the sun with large windows. Sun shining in through those windows directly on the weather station will completely distort your thermometer settings. So I know it's not always possible, especially if you live in a bachelor flat uh, with a window facing the sun, um, just that never place it directly in the sun. So what will be your best option? Where should you place your indoor base station or just your solo indoor weather station? Well, the best option will be like what I've got here. This weather station of mine, my primary weather station, is halfway between the floor and the ceiling. And another weather station I've got here, one of my older ones, same principle. Unlocated on a speaker halfway between the floor and the ceiling. So whenever you place your indoor device, this will be one of your best options. Even in a room that gets direct sunlight, just never place it directly into the sunlight itself. And that's it. 
Okay, and we are back in the studio. Okay, so what I did there was I just highlighted a few locations in and around the house, what to avoid, um, and a few recommendations of where you can actually place uh, your weather station and things to look out for. Obviously, these were just a few snippets, a few highlights. Um, you want more thorough information, I've left a link to the article in the description below so you can read everything on your own time. Hopefully this article, this video has been helpful and uh, if you like it, give me a thumbs up, it helps me a lot. Also, if you'd like to receive more of these videos, how-to videos as well as what is videos and more information about the weather, remember to hit the subscribe button as well as the little notification button next to it and you will be reminded as soon as another video gets released. And I think that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next video. Until next time, keep your eye on the weather. Cheers.